Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the slip capital femoral epiphysis imaging. So, slip capital femoral epiphysis is a kind of shorter iris one fracture of sub capital femoral physis due to chronic stress or wage bearing. Femoral head slip posteriorly and medial to metaphysis. Most common sign and symptom, limb pain, limited moment, mo motion, pain in hip, groin, or proximal side in 85%, distal size or knee pain in 15%, other signs and symptoms, clinical staging, stable, able to be a wage, even with crutch, more likely to have delayed presentation, unstable, unable to be a wage, harm of symptoms, acute less than three weeks, chronic is more than three weeks, acute or chronic, Gradually onset suddenly worse, most common. Average time from initial symptom to diagnosis is eight weeks. Limited range of moment, loss of internal rotation and fixed external rotation. Leg length shorter. Imaging. A subcapital femoral crisis is abnormal. Sure. Loosen and elongated Why? visible before major femoral head displacement. Drop left view, lateral view, essential pathologies, posterior displacement of femoral head relative to metaphysis, femoral head neck angle for severity assessment. CT of her more accurately. Determine severity of sleep. MI is more sensitive than a radiograph for diagnosis and complication. Pre sleep, PCL elongation, widening on T1. Plus minus marrow edema, synovitis, with sleep on T2, upwards, austere. Long term, femoral acetabular. In pigment, labra tear, articular cartilage damage, osteonecrosis, incident of bilateral slip capital femoral epiphysis, very widely, 18 to 80 percent, and initial presentation. 9 to 22 percent contralateral slip usually occur in 18 months. Let's see. This was presentation. This is the AP radiograph in an obese 10 years old girl with left hip pain, so intersection of the lateral right camera heads by the line of clan is normal. Such a line would not would not intersect the slip left femoral head. A normal continuous center X can be drawn on the right but not the left. This is the axial on the top left and coronal bottom left, 2D, and posterior bottom right and anterior top right, 3D surface render CT image in a 12 years old, so a chronic 
sleep capital femoral epiphysis with a posterior major slip of the right femoral head relative to the neck. AP on the top and front leg, lateral, bottom, radiograph in a west 12 years old patient with right hip pain, so an abnormal smooth and loosened right subcapital crisis with offset of the femoral head neck junction, consistent with a slip capital femoral epiphysis. AP on the top and front leg lateral bottom of the graph being an 11 years old with hip pain, so an abnormality smooth and wide or right subcapital crisis with femoral head neck offset consistent with slip capital femoral epiphysis. The left subcapital crisis appear normal with questionable head neck offset. Coronal T1 on top and T2 FS bottom of all image of the same patient, so abnormal arise subcapital crisis and associated joint infusion from slip capital femoral epiphysis. However, the less subcapital crisis is known. Treatment. Fecontinuous screw. Pin fixation of epiphysis to femoral neck through crisis. In situ fixation, no attempted reduction due to increased risk of osteonecrosis with manual reduction. With some degree of close reduction for unstable, severe sleep. Thank you.